Hundreds of angry citizens took to the streets in Iran, meanwhile, protesting against a hike in the otherwise subsidized petrol prices. Major roads in several cities were blocked. There was even a bid to attack a regional oil depot, prompting the police personnel to fire at the demonstrators. The protest is seen taking a political turn now with the demonstrators chanting anti-government slogans. Two people have been killed so far. The hike and rationing of fuel in Iran is now backed by Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei to smother the protests in over two dozen cities. Internet was shut down across Iran. Police resorted to live fire in an attempt to deter the protesters. The bulk of the protests happened overnight with sporadic gatherings the following day, putting new pressure on the government of the Iranian president Hassan Rouhani. In the latest, Iranian protesters have set the National Bank in the Khuzestan province ablaze. The video shot on a mobile phone shows jubilant protesters gathering outside the central bank premises and thick plumes of smoke and flames raging on. Online video footage showed protesters blocking traffic on Tehran's Imam Ali Highway on Saturday. And in a video, a large crowd in the city of Karmansha demonstrated and later drew tear gas fire from the police. Some others reportedly clashed in Tabriz, another major Iranian city. Violence broke out Friday night in the city of Sarjan, some 800 kilometers southeast of Tehran. State-run media tried to downplay the ferocity of the protest. News agency there uh, reporting that the protesters tried to set fire to the oil depot, but again, as it is in these kinds of protests, the videos on social media purported to show a completely different story. Another showed a large crowd shouting out, Rohani, shame on you, leave the country alone. It wasn't immediately clear if the police made any arrests. Iranian state television calling the videos, though, fake news to counter coverage of the rival independent channels. The United States has offered support to the protesters in Iran. The U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo signaled his support with a tweet saying that the U.S. stands with Iran. The original tweet in Persian by Pompeo said, after 40 years, the proud Iranian people are not staying silent about their government's abuses. We will not stay silent either. I have a message for the people of Iran. The United States hears you. The United States supports you. The United States is with you." Unquote. Two senior Iranian clerics have called on Hassan Rouhani's government to reverse the increase in fuel prices and put an end to the rationing. After months of speculation, the authorities announced in the early hours of Friday that petrol will now be rationed across the country using smart fuel cards. Vehicles for private use are to be restricted to 60 litres of fuel per month, while the price of petrol will jump 50 per cent to 15,000 Iranian reals, which amounts to about 0 0.13, 0 $0.13 a litre in the open market. Any fuel purchases in excess of the allotted ration will incur an additional charge of 30,000 reals, amounting to 0 $0.26 per litre. The demonstrations, though, not as widespread as the economic protest that shook the country two years ago, put fresh pressure on the government of the Iranian president before the parliamentary election in February.